And welcome back. Well, sometimes you don't realize what you've got until it's gone. And when you have an injury in your knee or your shoulder, everyday life can become extremely difficult. And joining us today to chat about the latest advancements in orthopedics is Dr. Samuel Steiner and Dr. Christopher Keelian, two surgeons from Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. What's up, guys? Thanks for being here. And I see you brought some friends to demonstrate what we're talking about. And as we told you uh, during the commercial break, Tiff had shoulder surgery. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest two words to say together. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, fairly recently, but a lot of people, you run into so many people, whether they're athletes, mm -hmm. professional athletes like, like Tiff, mm -hmm. or they're just yeah, your everyday whatever. A lot of people have shoulder injuries, and you hear a lot about how difficult it is yeah. to recover from shoulder surgery. Yes, it can be a very difficult rehab, especially with a rotator cuff repair or a slap repair like you mm -hmm. had. Um, there's a long rehab process, and that's what we're lucky at Orthopedic Associates of Wisconsin. We have our clinic, our surgery center, PT, MRI, all right in the same place. Yeah. Um, so we can help the patient recover and get back to it as quick as possible. It's hard. I didn't realize until I had the surgery where they're like, the shoulder's the only joint that has to go like in full circles. Every mm -hmm. other joint just right. goes up and down, so it's yep. such a difficult recovery because it's such a unique and special joint. It's a, Who knew, exactly. right? It's a very, very, very it. mobile joint, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. I think that for a lot of people, until something goes wrong, until you injure something, Thing. You don't realize how important it is to take care of your body. One of the things that um, you do is sure. meniscal tears, um, and this is something that happens a lot with like young adults and with athletes. And I'm sure you guys are seeing a lot of young athletes doing sports coming in and truly just injuring their body. We are. We're seeing well, quite a few. We have the ASAP clinic, so mm -hmm. a lot of young athletes are coming in on Saturdays after you know Friday night games, and uh, the knee is a very common location to have an injury. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's a knee right there, huh? Here you have a knee. Okay. Okay. Femur, the tibia. If you look inside. No, what's the pink or the this colored stuff? Is this the like ah. tendons? So these are the ligaments. So these okay. are actually the tendons here. You have the MCL here, the LCL here, and on the inside you have two fibrocartilaginous structures. That's the vocab word for that. That's the day. what I thought we'll, it was. We'll quiz you at the end. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Do we have anyways, to spell it too? <laughs> but anyways, you have two menisci. All right, on the inside, they're basically two large C-shaped structures, and they're really responsible. They're, they're basically shock absorbers for the knee. Yeah. And so young athletes will have tears in the meniscus. And if it's a small tear, that can relatively be treated with just a small meniscectomy. Basically, you're just removing a small portion of the torn meniscus. Mm -hmm. But there's other larger, more complex tears that, you know, some would just say just take out the whole meniscus. Well, obviously, you need it. You know, it really has an important function of spreading out the force in the knee. And so basically, there's newer techniques to repair the meniscus, no matter how complex it is. Mm -hmm. Preserve it so that it really, you don't get arthritis at an early age. When you hear people getting, like, knee surgery and stuff, is that often what, what the issue was? Is something with, with the meniscus? Right, or? more commonly the meniscus. You can have a lot of other things inside the knee, whether it's the cartilage has a problem or maybe one of your crucial ligaments as well. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, and you mentioned the ASAP clinic. So obviously your goal with a lot of athletes is they just want to get back out there, regardless of what sport it is. They want to get it. it fixed. They want it feeling better, and they want to get back to playing as soon as possible. Is that where that this clinic comes in? That's exactly where it comes in. You don't have to wait for that appointment if your doctor is busy. You don't have to wait a couple of weeks, or in some cases, a couple of months. You can just go in that same day. Mm-hmm. What about total <clears throat> shoulder stuff? Yeah, so <laughs> it's like I know. Yeah, it, just, it hurts me to say it. Exactly. So Ow. Just, just like the hip and knee replacements, <laughs> the, the next most common is the shoulder replacement. So here I have a model showing a shoulder you replacement. You guys all have your I just I know, tell you. Exactly. I've seen these models way too many times I in know. the last six months. <laughs> yep. This is how it works in circles. Exactly. <laughs> that's what we're able to do now. So at our surgery center, we're able to do that. this as an outpatient surgery. Mm -hmm. um, and so what this is, is showing a, a total shoulder replacement. This okay, is wait, I don't get it. So that's are these two socket. shoulders? Yeah, these are two separate shoulders. So let me take okay, this yeah, one thank away. You. Yeah. Okay. And so, so with this shoulder replacement, so we have, we put a metal ball mm -hmm. uh, on the top and a, actually a socket um, that. Do you have a metal ball now? In no, your? I've got anchors so now. You, so you, had, you didn't have a replacement. You had no. an arthroscopic reconstructed. Correct. Exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. um, so what we do is we put this, this stem or the socket into the, into the uh, excuse me, the stem into the bone. Okay. And then we put a, a new metal ball on top where the bone used to be. Okay. And then on the, the cup side or your, your shoulder blade, yeah. um, we put this, this polyethylene, a high-grade plastic, uh, onto the socket. And so then this forms the new shoulder joint. Oh, wow. And what we're able to do at uh, Orthopedic Associates, um, we're able to do this as an outpatient surgery. And then part of the new technology that we're protecting. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. As That's an insane. outpatient? Yeah, so you home can come. Home same day. Exactly. Home same day, or you can stay over the, overnight if you if you would wish. You should stay overnight. I know, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah, but we have the ability to do it They're that like, quickly no, no, now. Home. Exactly. <laughs> also, part of the advan adva uh, recent advancements that we're doing, uh, we're potentially the first in Wisconsin to do a new uh, computer-navigated one. Oh. where. 
we're actually using a computer system and a, a live CT scan during the surgery hmm. to implant the, this is the most difficult part of the surgery is implanting uh, this cup part in, yeah. into the socket. So we can do that during surgery. Can you wow. guys both speak to just r quickly, what are you doing to help people recover? Because some things like this seem yeah. fairly um, involved or complicated. Right. Same with the knee. I mean, these are joints that we need all the time. What, what are, how are some of the latest advancements helping people to, maybe even if they're not getting back to athletics, but yeah. getting mm -hmm. back to work, getting back to their, their normal routines? School, anything. School, yeah. yeah. So, we do, you know, we're doing more procedures arthroscopically, which means smaller incisions, smaller incision, less pain. You can barely even see my surgical scars. Exactly. Right. Very cosmetic mm -hmm. and actually it helps. You can do the surgery all through just a small scope, a little tiny poke hole. Yeah. Uh, and as a result, you don't have the big incision, not as big of a recovery depending on what you're doing. And less pain. Although I yeah. think the smaller the incision, the less people think you had done. <laughs> yes. exactly. And they're like, where are the scars? Exactly. And you're like, trust me, it yep. was a big surgery. Yeah, you're not getting babied as much, maybe. And yes, it's ex true. Exactly. Sometimes you just want a big old laceration. Exactly. You know, to prove how bad it hurts. They always yeah. ask, well, how many sutures did you have? Like, just yeah. one. <laughs> That's yeah. gone. Yep, underneath the skin. Just butterfly. Exactly. Yeah. But it's wonderful it's that you guys, what you guys do. Yeah, and you have this 24-hour surgery uh, <laughs> center, um, which is wonderful for patient satisfaction. The, the quality outcomes that you have and lower cost often than traditional options. So in addition, you also offer what you mentioned, which was the ortho ASAP clinic mm -hmm. for acute new injuries. You can walk in anytime, no appointment necessary, Monday through Thursday. They have hours Friday as well as Saturday too. Call now at this number. It's 262-303-5055 to schedule an appointment with one of our, uh, one of their board certified surgeons. They also have specialty specific to your individual needs. Thanks you guys so much.